Hey guys, and welcome back to Halo 2. And now, finally, we're playing as the Arbiter. <laughs> and that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, can we see, like, the actual intro for the level, please? And, uh, yeah, let me just uh, make sure there's no cat on my desk. Yeah, I'm talking to you, pal. Right, restart. Can we have the full intro this time? Combat's brother must be kept this baggage. Any cell will do. Why not toss him in with this lot? They could use the meat. Them? What about us? My belly aches. And his flesh is seared just the way I like it. Quiet! You two whip were like crumbs fresh off the teak. He's not meant for the jails. The higher ups have something special in mind. of truth and mercy. I have brought the incompetent. You may leave, Tartarus. But I thought... And take your boots with you. Release the prisoner. The council decided to have you hung by your entrails and your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to me. I am already dead. Indeed. You know where we are. The mausoleum of the Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. Every Arbiter from first to last. Each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the hunters. The grunt rebellion. Were it not for the Arbiters, the Covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. But the Council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brothers. They will do the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The great journey is... This heretic and those who follow him must be silenced. Their slander offends all who walk the path. What use am I? I can no longer command ships, lead troops into battle. Not as you are, no. But become the arbiter. And you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each Arbiter has before you. The Council will have their corpse. What would you have your Arbiter do? When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons, we swore to uphold the Covenant. Even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics, worthy of neither pity nor mercy. Even now, 
They used our Lord's creation to forge Cassian lines. We shall grind them into dust and continue our march to glorious salvation. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the arbiter, the will of the prophets. But these are my elites. Their lives matter to me. Yours does not. That makes two of us. All right, so here we are. We are the arm of the prophet, Arbiter, and you are the blade. Be silent and swift, and we shall quell this heresy without incident. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so we are the Arbiter. We have been reborn, so to speak, uh, as a slave for the prophets. Still... Better than execution, I suppose. I guess. Maybe. The storm has matched our approach. And it should have your local battle net in disarray. We are the element of the mind. For now. For now. Now, we don't have um a flashlight as our dear old buddy Arbiter here. But we do have active camouflage, which replaces the flashlight. A little bit of an upgrade, one could say. But it doesn't last very long. It's good for you getting you out of a pickle, but not much more. Engage active camouflage. Reveal yourselves only after the Arbiter has joined battle with the enemy. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of the sniper mission from the first game. Yeah, our armor is kind of lame. Well, that went about as well as could be expected, I suppose. Now, the problem that we have here, of course, is that we're fighting elites and grunts. And we also have our own elites and grunts. And, well, friendly fire... Kinda just happens. But it is nice to see this combat from the other side. Let's grab a covenant a covenant? <laughs> covenant carbine. Which to be fair, this is a pretty good weapon. It's a single shot rifle. Think of it sort of like the battle rifle. Oh, this is not a great place to be. That's fine. That is fine. Ooh. You know what? I don't mind if I do. The beam rifle's pretty good. I don't think it's quite as uh, satisfying as the human rifle, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. Whilst we purge these heretics. Now, you do get more ammo with it, unlike the human rifle where you only get four shots. Uh, this one, you do actually uh, get a decent amount, but if you fire more than three shots, I think it is, in quick succession, it will overheat. Uh, you know what? Let's grab a needler. Pink death. All right. Uh, we can dual wield these, sure. Jewelding needlers in this game, from what I can remember, is not a terrible shout. Now, there is somewhere. Um, a terminal. 
I can you remember exactly where it is. Pretty sure it is around here somewhere, or if it isn't around here, might be further down, perhaps. Ah, uh, there's another carbine there. Nah, I think it's further down. It's probably on another, another level. That's fine. If I do miss anything, I'll chuck them in at the end of the video. It ain't no, th ain't no problem. It has been, you know, a hot minute since I've played this game, so uh, I probably am going to miss things here and there. Oh! We could use our active camo, but nah. Like I say, it's fine for getting yourself out of trouble, but not really much more than that. If it lasted a little bit longer, probably. Now you can see... Having the Needler as a dual wieldable weapon uh, massively increases how much damage it does. And I do need to turn my headset down. It's deafening. Absolutely deafening. Huh. Son of a... Alright. Well, if I have missed the terminal, you'll just see it randomly get thrown up <laughs> somewhere. Where roughly where it should be, I guess. By the rings. Mmm, why indeed? Why oh why have they indeed? I'm sure it's not important. Yep. Seems like these holy warriors of the rings are attacking us. And <laughs> it kind of felt like I tripped over there. It's it's fine. Really? It's going to dump me up here. Game, you son of a bitch. Actually, yes, maybe, maybe, maybe it might be worth taking one of these. The only trouble is don't. Ah, there is carbine ammo there. Mm, mm, I see. All right, we'll take the carbine. Are you ready, Mr. Elite? You look like you have all of your mandibles intact. Unlike our fearless leaders. Truth and Mercy. Nice little story about the truth and mercy. And indeed regret. But uh, I don't want to say too much. It's fine. Right, let's get rid of... Oh, God, those... All right, I think there's snipers down here. Oh, and here's me pausing it. We're already down here. Yeah, I think we've got some snipers. Snipers hurt. All right, let's see if we can't find some... Okay, well, I mean, he's not a sniper. But he is a dick. So there's that. Oh, wait, actually. I think he was a sniper. Let's get out of here. Make sure we've got plenty of ammo. Ooh, that's okay. He's a friend. That's fine. Okay, so we can open the hangar doors. What else can we do? Ah, I think the terminal's here somewhere. So I'm not sure where all these energy canisters are going. I hope they're going to go somewhere good. Probably not. I mean, after all, the Covenant bastards are using them. So that's... Uh, never great. All right, well... Mm, not seeing a terminal. Let's go. Let's crack these. Um, let's crack these. Alright. Ooh, nice. We can actually get the sentinel beams. Sentinel beams are really quite good. Let's 
looks like we have a dropship that's already docked. I'm not really sure where the Covenant Doctrine actually lands in regards of destroying the uh, Sentinels. Definitely something that would have been frowned on. But I suppose... Oh dear. Suppose needs must and all that. Ah, and another weapon that we can now get in Halo 2 that we couldn't get before. Um, well, I mean, that went well. Yeah, we can also get the fuel rod cannon now. And the fuel rod cannon is pretty cool. It's basically the Covenant. Uh, where is it? Ah, I'm not sure. Uh, it's the Covenant version of a rocket launcher, essentially. It's not as powerful as a rocket launcher, but, you know, it's it's pretty good. But you can hold a lot more ammo for it. Come here, you heretic bastard. Taste my weapon. <laughs> really? My God, he took a bit, didn't he? I'm coming, brother. Bit personal. Didn't really need to know that. Oof, we got grunts. We got grunts and jackals. Oh my. Let's use that active camouflage. Yeah, so none of my macros are working. Which is great. Uh, I did get an error message from... IQ earlier, so deep joy. You're right there, buddy. You having a bit of a bad time there? Bloody heretic. Shouting his head off. That guy was a dick. He's dead now. Uh what we got? We got plenty for the beam rifle. Luckily the mouse is working. It's just the uh, macros that I heavily rely on are just not working. But, hey, adapt and survive. Yeah, well, you know what? If the game's going to give me two of these, I'm going to take full advantage of... <laughs> Hiding will not save you. No, it won't. Come on, guys. Watch that crossfire. Watch that crossfire. You know what? Maybe we will stick with this for a little bit longer. Oh my god, my macro is not working. That's such a problem. We got it. Come on, brothers. No mercy. Is that another elite? Come on, you sack. Ooh, hello. I got him, brothers. There we go. Buy the rings. Conserve that ammo, sir. Yeah, I might have to make a pause in this video at some point. <laughs> to sort out my macros. You survived? You're not supposed to survive a holy sword to the face. And that got a little bit more uh, intense than I was anticipating. 